admit to sin These songs of freedom it is always challenging to make a biopic of a widely popular musician because the makers have to maneuver through the narrative carefully depending on the target audience. Bob Marley. One Love, the recently released biopic on the legendary singer, however, seems pretty decisive in its storytelling and strikes a great balance between targeting the die-hard fans of Bob Marley along with the new generation. While the movie is a remarkable effort produced by the singer's widow, Rita Marley, and some of his children in this video, we will look to explore how her life unfolded following the death of her husband. But before we do that, we have a small request. If you enjoy our content, please give this video a massive thumbs up, share it with your friends, and smash that subscribe button with the notification bell turned to all while you're at it. It helps us create the content that you love and bring in more marvelous viewers like you. Now, on to the video. I want the world to change. Who is Rita Marley and why is she so important in Bob Marley's musical career? The movie spares no attempt in highlighting the importance of Rita Marley in Bob Marley's rise to one of the musical legends of the century. Lashana Lynch, who plays the role of Rita Marley, steps into her character effortlessly as we witness the struggles of Bob Marley's supportive and loving wife. In reality, Rita Marley was indeed a pillar of support for the iconic singer, and her introduction to Bob Marley was nothing short of the stuff you see in the rom-coms. Rita was born in Cuba, but she moved to Jamaica when she was only three months old. After the separation of her parents, she was raised by her Aunt Viola, and she embraced a musical career pretty early in her life, even before meeting Bob. Their relationship blossomed after she recorded with Studio One, one of Jamaica's finest record labels, and she was coached by Bob on vocals and record making during this time. They got married soon after, in February 1966, and although the movie does look into their married life through a few brief flashbacks, it skips and breezes through some important points. Rita Marley later revealed that Bob Marley was quite shy about his feelings during the initial stages of their courtship, and he even sent her letters through his friends. Many fans of Bob Marley are unaware that it was actually Rita Marley who introduced him to the Rastafarian faith after being heavily influenced by the idea during a visit from the Emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie, who is seen as a reborn messiah in this faith. His Rastafarian way of life shaped his music and life choices immensely, and many even agree that adapting to this religion actually brought out the Bob Marley that we all know and love. Besides religious common grounds, all through his brief life, Rita Marley was always there to support and inspire him to create the unforgettable classics that music lovers around the world enjoy even today. I want the world to change. Was Rita and Bob Marley's romantic life conventional? Well, as much as the couple were very much in love and continued to express their love and respect for each other throughout their lives, conventional wouldn't exactly be the word to describe their relationship. They both engaged in several extramarital affairs, and one of Rita Marley's dalliances with the Jamaican soccer player Owen Stewart got her pregnant with a child named Stephanie, who was later adopted by Bob. He also adopted her 15-month-old daughter from a previous relationship during their marriage. The couple had three biological children, but they were parents to many more. Meanwhile, it was no secret that Bob Marley indulged in his fair share of affairs and fathered many children out of wedlock. The movie does highlight a crucial and emotional scene where Bob and Rita confront each other with hints of jealousy, but it is believed that their relationship moved through various stages and agreements in the course of their lives. However, their affairs and stints with other partners did little to corrode the influence they had on each other. Rita, in particular, was almost like his mother during his tours, taking care of him, and even when he was battling cancer and constantly traveling for treatments, she was always there by his side. What happened to her after Bob Marley's death? Now, we come to the question that many of you might have after watching the movie. As invested as Rita Marley was in his life, it was a great void to fill after Bob Marley. However, she continued to be involved in Bob Marley's estate, and she also went on with her musical journey as a powerhouse in reggae. 
After the musician died in May 1981, Rita carried on her work in spreading his messages of love, unity, and peace. A few years later, in 1986, she converted his house into a museum for the public, and it soon became a popular destination for the die-hard fans. The Bob Marley Museum not only exhibits some of his personal items and merchandise, but also has a cafe where the tourists can catch a little break. Meanwhile, she documented a memoir titled No Woman, No Cry, My Life with Bob Marley, which was finally released in the year 2004. It contains a great detail about her life with Bob, the various stages of their relationship, and other things that shaped her journey. Much of what we know about Bob Marley's personal life and life, away from the media glare today, is courtesy of her memoir. Rita Marley also prospered in her musical career, with one of her projects titled, We Must Carry On Winning a Grammy Nomination. Before her involvement in the production of Bob Marley One Love, Rita also appeared in a documentary called Marley back in 2012, which was also a close look into his life. Say what you will about her infidelity, she strongly believed in the cause that Bob Marley was actively advocating for, and her loyalty towards strengthening his work was simply unwavering. Where is Rita Marley now and what is she up to these days? After actively working for the cause that Bob Marley deeply believed in, Rita Marley finally retired from her duties following a few health ailments in 2016. Currently, she lives in Miami, Florida, and her daughter revealed how she forced Rita to relax after she had a stroke from overworking. She would reportedly get too bothered and disturbed by various world events, and her daughter decided that it was time for her to live a laid-back life. However, she did impact the making of the movie Bob Marley, One Love, where her invaluable inputs made the narrative accurate. It has been 43 years now since the death of her beloved partner, but she has kept his legacy alive through her humanitarian work and efforts to immortalize the works of the late artist. The movie Bob Marley, One Love is a must watch for all the fans out there, and it is also going to be an unforgettable experience for the new generation who might not be as aware of this legendary singer as they should be. Even though the movie highlights one particular period of his life, it is safe to say that the efforts have been successful and it will almost be like watching the star live one more time. Do let us know about your thoughts on this once in a lifetime artist and if you have watched the movie already, don't forget to tell us about your reviews in the comments below. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.